For most of my life, I was incredibly controlling. I needed to know what was happening at all times. Part personality and part response to the world that I had grown up in. I still battle with the urge to control if I'm honest. However, over the last few years, I have been forced to learn to just let things unfold too. I say forced because I finally started to realize that life itself is one big great unknown. And the more I tried to mold things into a shape and size I saw fit, happiness I felt inside. What are you doing? Hmm. So tired. <sighs> Something that I do have a tendency to do whenever I'm going through a space of unknown. I definitely tend to fall back on old behaviors and patterns that I don't feel are either truly me or do me any good. And I'm out a lot more, whether that's through TV or alcohol. And I'm not saying that numbing out is, is bad, but when you're doing it to excess is when I think it becomes a problem. I don't want to just numb the pain away and numb the feelings of being scared. You know, with the unknown comes so many different emotions and feelings. It's terrifying, it's scary, it's, it's confusing, it's exhausting. There is so much that I can take away from this time. I've been wanting to slow down give myself space to rest more. And this is like life's way of forcing me to do that in a sick and twisted way. And there are always things we just have no control over in life. It's a practice, mind you. I still really love things to happen in my timeline and in the way I see fit. But life rarely works out that way. You can fight against the current, but you'll grow tired rather quickly than if you just learn to move more freely down the stream. But herein lies the problem. You can't just passively go through life waiting for everything to happen. A lot of life is putting one foot in front of the other and taking action too. So what is it? Push or pull? Force or flow? Control or let go? Honestly, I think it's this. Boundaries. It looks and sounds just like boundaries. So when our lives are spinning out of control and we don't know which way is up or which way is down, we feel like we are trying to grasp onto everything around us, but nothing is sticking. This is the time when we need to really dig deep, remember who we are, establish really strong boundaries. What do boundaries mean to me? I have a tendency to be a yes person. I agree to do things that I don't really want to do. I overcommit. I overplan. Instead of just remembering that I am somebody who has to go with the flow almost every day, my feelings and thoughts about things change. It's okay to not commit to things until you really feel like you want to do them. This is a practice for me because I also don't want to miss out on things. My time and my energy, especially right now, is so limited. The level of fatigue that I feel right now is really hard for me to explain. I have to really talk myself into doing just about every activity that doesn't involve laying on the couch, zoning out. And this time of year is already so busy because of the holidays, just being the end of the year, I am also throwing in a surgery. So my time has condensed even more. And I want to make sure that while I navigate this very uncertain time in my life, I am being really, really true to myself. So I was driving home the other night and I was coming back from my friend's 40th birthday party. So my friend's party started at another mutual friend's house. I love dinner parties and I love intimate setting parties. I love when we just get to hang out and talk that's the part of social gatherings that really lights me up. So we started off at our other friend's house. We were all just getting ready and then we were driving over to another part of Seattle to go to a show. And I'll be honest, as I get older, I'm not much for loud music and I'm okay with that. 
I do like shows with artists that I know their music, but my like ideal type of night is not going to a bar and listening to live music anymore. Usually when I'm asked to go to these shows, I kindly decline because I just know myself. I, I don't wanna go somewhere where I can't hear somebody talk. That is what I wanna be doing. I wanna just be like talking about life with people. Go to the other location and right away I felt it in my body that I had made a mistake. <laughs> that I probably should have just gone to the beginning part of the night and then gone home. This has nothing to do with my friends. It's just, I don't really care to do those things anymore. But I did because I wanted to be there for my friend and I wanted to celebrate her. So I thought that I was just taking one for the team. When we got there, I realized I wasn't gonna drink because I had to drive home and everyone else just proceeded to drink and their level started changing and mine was like coming down a bit. I was just sitting there and then my medication started wearing off so I, I was experiencing a lot more pain in my pelvis. Finally, I just told myself, it's okay if you go home. You love your friend, she knows that. You came, you tried, you saw, and now it's time to go home. And she was totally fine with it. And so as I was driving home, I was kind of beating myself up and I was like, why can't I just be like everyone else? And then it hit me. I'm like, Amanda, you don't enjoy doing these things. And that is okay. What you enjoy doing is being in small intimate gatherings. You enjoy going to museums. You enjoy going out to dinner. You enjoy so many other different things. It's okay if you don't enjoy going to shows. Then I had this idea. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna allow myself for the month of November and December, and hopefully these, these patterns go into the new year as well. I am just gonna allow myself to have a couple months of the yes and no months. If it's not a absolute yes, then it's gonna be a no. Again, my time and energy levels are just so limited right now and I wanna be able to go out and do the things that I love doing and not kick myself because I am exhausted afterwards. I also just think that life is so short. Yeah, there are certain things that we need to do, have certain responsibilities that we have to do as adults and contributing members of society. There's no particular way that you have to live your own individual life. There's so much pressure, especially when you're a single person, to go out all the time. You've gotta meet somebody, you've gotta be on dating apps, you, you've gotta do all the things. I just realized I just need to take care of myself right now. That's what I'm gonna do. This is gonna be a couple months of hard yeses and hard no's. I've been thinking a lot about this space of unknown and how often I have been here. How as scary and uncertain and fearful as I may feel, there's a little bit of comfort in it as well. I'm not sure if that makes sense to other people. It is a space that I know well. None of my health stuff has ever been black or white. <laughs> I have never had a diagnosis, didn't involve weeks if not months of just being completely in the dark with what was going on. This time is no different. I have had to learn over the last few years to just really kind of lean into that discomfort of the unknown and 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 just almost breathe through it. My anxiety level is a lot lower than it used to be when I go into these spaces. It doesn't necessarily mean it's any easier. It's very challenging. I wanna know what is going on so bad. I wanna know what this mass is. I wanna know if it's cancer. I wanna know if it's not. I wanna know if I'm gonna have treatment. I want to know if I'm just gonna have surgery and then have a couple weeks of recovery. I do know this, that it's probably not the last time that this is gonna happen. If every time this happens to me, I am completely derailed, then I'm never going to achieve the things that I wanna achieve in my life. So I have to figure out how to be okay being in this space, how to turn this space into something that is more empowering than it is debilitating. When you are navigating the space of the unknown, check in with yourself. Ask, 
where you are at with your own boundaries. Do you even have boundaries? Are you doing things because you feel like you should or you have to? Are you afraid of missing out on something? And where can you really dial back, navigate this, this time and this space in a way that is truly authentic to you and what you need as a person instead of doing everything that we think others might want us to do. I hope this video resonated with you and if it did give it a thumbs up subscribe do what you need to do to stay in the know in the loop and i will see you next time okay bye